Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have uh, something else. It is uh, a handheld uh, multimeter. And yeah, for me it was an unknown brand. It's uh, Powerfix KH3322. And uh, it's quite big. And I just bought it because it was 2 euros. And uh, and the cool thing is, it is really, really a multimeter. Uh, it can do voltage, it can do ohms, diodes, capacitors, frequency, temperature, uh, humidity, dBs, so it has a sound uh, meter. Um, it can do luxes, and it can do amps, and it goes up to 2 amps. Well, you probably already spotted the problem, and that is the display. The display is not working fully, but if we press, then it's working. And uh, so that is, that is good. Um, the hertzes, I don't know if it's just probably just from the AC, but we can just try to fit that in. The humidity is also just the sensor. Oh, this is degrees. So it's just measuring the ambient. You don't need an external um, sensor for that. Here you have the humidity, here you have the luxus and the sound. So it's just all doing that here. The humidity. That's not that high, but that's okay. Dimmies. That also seems to work. Then we have the Alexis. Let's see. Yes. Cool. So in that sense it all seems to work. So uh, let's open it up. Maybe it's easy fix. I was able uh, to open it, and as you can see, here is the buzzer, that's probably for the diet uh, mode. Here you see a little microphone, that is probably for the audio measurements. Here is the light sensor, and here is the sensor for humidity. So it's really all in this uh, meter. And then I wonder where is the temperature sensor, but I have also something here, but it seems like the crystal where it runs on. So maybe they have somewhere... It was a bit difficult to, to, to open it because this is the backlighting of the display and that was really stuck in between, uh, between it. And as you can see the, the display just contacts with, uh, with the little strip and uh, so it needs to be pushed well and apparently just only the screws it's not enough to, to push the display. So. Um, yeah, maybe we can open it and we can see if we can put something underneath or I don't know. We need to find something to make it more tight. And here is a little bit of a, of a spacer. So maybe it's just uh, uh, taking something off the spacer and then it gets more tight. Okay, that was uh, very easy. Um, by cutting the little strips we, c we could apply a little bit more force to the screws and uh, the display is just working. So uh, we, I'm going to clean it and put it back together.
Okay, that was quite easy. Um, I hope you can see the display. Maybe if I put the light. Mm, nee, it's not make it better. I think like this. You can see the display works now and it was easy. I just cut a few plastics. But now I'm just wondering if, uh, if it's any good. Because maybe we can adjust. So, uh, it should be 2.5498. Yeah, this should be exactly 5. So it's a little bit low, 7.5. It's more of, and here this is 10, 0, 0, 0. It's even more of. So uh, I did see some pots, but I do not know exactly which pot is for what. So uh, that will probably make it worse. Okay, I did uh, find something. There was a marking on the board that says uh, VA19 here. VA19. And uh, I look already on the internet and it could be an, an Shanghai Mastec. And uh, it looks exactly the same, even with uh, all the, 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 the colors. Uh, but I was hoping to find a schematic, but then I just go to all kind of weird uh, Russian websites. But at least I have an idea about the specs. It could also be, and as you can see, it, no, you cannot see. It could also be an Edison 5-in-1. And then it looks yellow, but uh, the rest is exactly the same. So maybe I can find the schematic of that, or it could be a VNA VA19, exactly what it says on the board. And uh, hopefully I find something uh, on that. Okay, uh, I didn't find out uh, which pot I need to turn, so I just closed it because I didn't want to make it better. And yes, if it's not super precise, it is also not a super precise instrument, but they weren't cheap. They were around between 60 and 80 dollars. And it seems to be a mush deck. So uh, later I try to, to look if I find some more, but, but for now it is what it is. And uh, I just like to do some testing. So we already saw that it uh, measured DC voltage. So uh, let's try and do that again, just to see if it still works after the operation and what we did was actually quite simple because I just cut from the display these little pieces of plastic that acted as a spacer and uh, maybe because the board got old or it was a little bit bended I, I don't know but now we took out the spacers and now you can put more force on the strip and as you see the, the, the display works uh, perfect again and uh, so let's see, it is auto ranging, that's cool, and you see it's it's quite fast, well it's uh, 30 millivolts off, but if that's it, then uh, let's see in the ohms range, well we knew from my other test that this one was also not that precise, but it says it's zero ohm, so um, this should be nine. It is nine, uh, and then we add ten, and then we should have nineteen. Okay, we add another one, should be one nineteen, and we add another one. <laughs> okay. Uh, the box also uh, became a lot better. If the okay, 
happily surprised and it should do hurts her so let's do a quick test on that uh, that is on uh, 10k uh, yeah uh, let's see how far it goes 210 it still does that will it do a mega hatch? <laughs> yes kidding me can it do 10 mega hatch? yes Ten. let's put it nicely too Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, it goes up to sixteen megahertz. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, and I think before I switch it off, um, let's go back to a lower frequency. Yes, then we go to a square. We have a square. It's still the same. But you can do a duty, and it says it's, the duty is 50%. So, and that is correct because I have here also. I'm not sure. Yes. Can I not do this one? This one. I should be able to change the duty. Yeah, so if I say here it is uh, 40%, it agrees 40%, 30%, it agrees, 60%, wow, okay, good, uh, what we have left, we have uh, temperature, here we have another type of temperature and I don't know what it is oh it's more precise okay good then we have humidity yes it goes up that works dbs that works we have the luxus Luxus times 10. Okay. Milliamps. Let's put it on the 2 amps. And okay, a little setup. Power supply. Electronic load. Then we're gonna put power from the meter. Oh. to the to the load and back from the load to the power supply and we going to put one amp and one amp now oh, it already says two amps why is that I didn't even switch it on yet. Now it's on. No, not. Okay, so that is not uh, working. Yeah, this one says 2 amps. Here it says 0. Here it says 1. And if I switch it on, this one should go to 1. But it doesn't. So uh, the amps are not working. Let's put a lower, and then I can put the uh, 100 millis, and then I put it on the. Ah, 
silly me. This works better. I put it on the voltage. <laughs> Uh, 100 milliamps, one, and it says one amp. Now here it also says one amp. So apparently the electronic load is a little bit confused. Oh, that is uh, not good. Yeah, now it's good. Hey. Oh. My electronic load is a little bit confused. One amp, one amp, one amp. But uh, two amps, still one amp. Now it's two, 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 two. Okay, I'm a bit uh, disappointed. But that, uh, that works. 400, 400, 400. I was just fighting a bit with the electronic load that it doesn't put the power that it puts on the display. So uh, it's good I have this one here so I noticed because. Uh, hmm. Okay, put it back to 300. And then I can use this one. And. That is indeed almost 300. Cool. So that's it. It was a really simple uh, fix to have our uh, Marstech VA19 or PowerFix KH3322 or the Edison 1 in 5. No, 5 in 1. And the other brand I forgot, but uh, it's sold under uh, many names, and it's actually quite a, a nice meter. It goes up to 16 megahertz even. It measures the duty. It can do light, audio, temperature, as I'm doing now. It is uh, quite hot here, and it is a light, and it is fully working again. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.